Zach Aston Reese signing a PTO with the Toronto Maple Leafs, which like mm. really interesting. Um, first, I've been having people at work ask me. I've been getting DMs like, dude, Pop, does Aston Pop Reese suck? Again. Like, does he does he suck? Like, no, <laughs> no, he does not. I was under the impression that he must have just been asking for too much money and like pricing himself out of teams. But if he's signing a PTO with Toronto, that means he's prepared to take close to league men. Otherwise, you can't play there. Um, it's interesting, though, because I for a long time, I was kind of negative on the bottom six of Toronto. But just looking at what they have right now, it's actually not that bad. Like, it's not a lock that Aston Reese makes this team. Which is nuts because he's a solid bottom six forward. Oh, dude, he is a he's an elite bottom six forward in the sense that like everyone looks at his numbers and says, Oh, he's so good defensively. Well, no, no, no. He has incredible defensive metrics because his puck possession numbers mm. are insane. Him and Teddy Bluger, they've had a couple of different guys that they ran with, but Tanev was the most successful. Dude, they controlled the puck like no fourth line in the NHL could. And that's so big for your team to know you can throw them out there and not have to worry about the puck going in your own net. Like, and again, great grain of salt stat. He has kind of an aging stat, but in his entire NHL career, he's never been a minus player in his career. That that's that's something. That means something, especially when you're playing in the bottom six. Dude, that's fucking awesome, actually. Wow. Yeah, so whether it's with Toronto or Dude, elsewhere, Jake, he's gonna hockey. land. Only once in his entire hockey career, going back to juniors, was he a minus player, and that was with the Lincoln fucking stars in 2011 in the USHL. He's a minus four. Every other season, junior, college, AHL, NHL, he's been a plus player. That's pretty fucking sick. Interesting. Cool. Again, grain of salt stat. These days, it's an aging stat. But when it's that consistent, it, it, it tells some sort of, it tells a part of the story. Yeah, and that's all you need, right? Everyone tries to, like, take one stat or one analytic and say, oh, this player's good or bad because of this. Like, no, it's yeah. part of the story. And that's a really good testament as part of his story, yeah. especially when you're talking, again, about a player that t plays that type of a role. Um, yes. So, And a player uh, who almost he... died by uh, Tom Wilson. Dude. Tom Wilson almost decapitated him in that one playoff series. I got to say, they're doing smart things over there, though. They're bringing in more and more oh. Penguins. It's a recipe for success. Toppy is literally going to be a Maple Leafs fan now. I mean, kind of just just to piss you off. Yeah, but not I mean, actually. It, it really if Matt fun. Murray like resurrects his career and has an incredible season, yeah, I'll be cheering. For Fuck that. that. Then I'm going full on Ottawa train. Then okay. Matt Murray's former team, Toronto's new rival because Montreal is irrelevant. Minnesota's new rival because they stole Cam Talbot from us. <laughs> we can work Jeez. that into the narrative. Yeah. Right.